Uh, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, it's your boy Khalid from Khalid Creations. And I know before you start, it's been a while. You know, man, gotta do other stuff. You know, so about that. Like, right now, I'm back to to you know posting the schedules. Uh, it's up to you guys to show the support. I like if you like my videos, I make sure to show it and share and do stuff like that. So yeah. So in this video, we're going to be creating the white 2 aesthetics. Uh, that has been going around that's been trending uh, and yeah before we start this is an inspiration from one of my favorite artists uh, intuitive design so you can go ahead and check him out link in, uh, will be in the description and yeah after setting up your your space so far I like to have two outputs uh, both of them square and before we start I would like to point out three elements that you know, logo needs to tick uh, before you know having that white wk logo aesthetic so your logo has to be italic that is slant form and it has to have rounded corners and the third one is the outlines so we are going to go ahead and create all that so we're going to start up by creating our text you can write whatever you want i'm just going to go ahead and write my name this is going to be a v i'm going to go ahead and scale it up Yeah, so we're going to first start by turning it into uh, an italic form or slanting form. So make sure you are selecting your text and go to the free transform tool. Make sure it's the first one here. Go to the center by holding shift. Go right a bit. Something like that is okay for me. Go back to your selection tool. Now we're going to turn this into an outline so it's no more a text right now no more a font so it's more like of uh more like uh, a shape so individual shapes and since it's individual shape we are going to unite them all into one so let's go ahead and go to this pathfinder tool if you can't find it you see the logo here pathfinder the icon so select and unite so after selecting on unite what you want to do next is go to object by selecting that text go to object and change this into a compound path and select make so after selecting make what you want to do next is start creating the second uh the, sec uh, the third uh element that is to create the outline so to create the outline I'm going to press on this and go to option uh, object and go to path and go to object path. So click on preview. Make sure this is around. And yeah, go ahead and change this up and down to uh, to what you like. I think four is okay for me. Let's go ahead and press OK. And now the reason why we turn the first layer into a compound so like we can have these two layers so it's not going to intersect in our logo let's go ahead and turn this into a white go to the color panel here let's select white so as you can see we have like two layers with the shadow effect uh, the outline effect and uh, the normal front uh, logo as you can see so i mean if you are creating something you can incorporate this sky blue effect i think it will look nice uh, and let's go back to what we're doing so yeah what you want to do next uh start creating the shadow effect the drop down effect so we are going to select the front layer and turn it off in the layers panel so let's go ahead and turn it off and select this layer uh, so we're gonna go ahead and duplicate these two so yeah, i'm going to first of select this and by holding alt button just drag it diagonally around something like this yeah 
select the both of the layers and now go to options by selecting both of the layers go to options uh, objects why do i keep forgetting updates and go to blend and make so the blend option is going to try to blend uh this top and the corner part into a smooth layer but like it's created another layer for us like you can see it's three here so we don't want that we want it to be like straight and smooth so what we're gonna do again is select this three layers and go back to the objects and go back to blend and go to the blend option when the blend option make sure this here is selected as uh, specified steps so you can specify your steps and you can go ahead to bump it up to see what really uh, i think what i'm gonna do is like go back and move further to the logo to see how it's coming together so go back to object and go to blend go to blend options select this to specify click on preview and then go ahead and bump it up so as you can see around five is okay for us and we're gonna go ahead and click okay so by selecting this all go back to object I'll go back to the blend option and select on expand so as we added the steps into as we added five steps into it so it created five layers for us so i mean we're going to turn this into one layer so you don't have to be editing all the five layers so we are going to go back to our pathfinder uh, uh, tool so i'm going to select on unite so now as you can see it's one layer so the next thing is to bring back our logo and let's bring it and i think this is looking good just make sure it's in the center where it's supposed to be yeah that's good so the next thing is to make sure this center part is transparent make sure this white part is transparent and let me go ahead and create a rectangle to show you what i mean let's turn this into ash color and let's send it to the back as you can see after having the shadows we now have a white layer in the front and that's not what we have uh, that's not what we want so we are going to select the two layers the black and white layer and go back to your pathfinder tool you don't have to create this uh, rectangle i was just doing it to show you guys so we want to go back to pathfinder tool and go ahead and this time we are not going to be using the unite tool so it's more of a minus so we are going to minus the white layer in the front so go ahead and press minus and now as you can see our logo is transparent so the next thing right now is to start adding up those elements the stars the nike uh nike looking stuff and you know all that good stuff so i'm gonna go back to my asset and these are some stuff i created uh this is still inspired by the y2k logo and intuitive design so i'm gonna create uh a file for you guys you can download so the, the free option is going to be available so this is like a screen and this is a star so you can go ahead and add up what you want so i'm gonna create the same thing i show you in the beginning of the video so i'm just gonna need these two elements and let's go ahead and drag it into our project so the reason i created two adbots was not to distract my logo and you know do a lot of stuff so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and arrange this and you guys could watch so yeah
and yeah this part is solely based on your creativity and your vision so you can go ahead and try a bunch of stuff and see what works for you And yeah guys as you can see i've done the hardest part uh now we have the finished logo and the next thing now is to go into photoshop and turn it into the chrome look uh, using the plugin that's the eye candy plugin so yeah let's go ahead and do it Hey guys, coming back to Photoshop, that's where the magic is going to happen. So let's go ahead and create uh, the, uh, the document. So we are going to select the weight to 3000 and the height to 2000. And make sure your column mode is RGB and yeah, let's go ahead and create it. So after creating your file, what you want to do is import illustrator file we saved with our project so go to files and open so you can go ahead and locate where your project is and go ahead and open it so we're going to leave everything here as it is and press on ok and here we have it you are going to press on ctrl a and ctrl c to copy go back to your project and then ctrl v so now we are going to press ctrl i to invert the color so we can see it now i'm going to scale it so it fits so yeah and the next thing is to convert it into a smart object so this is where the magic is going to happen. Go to filter and exposures uh, softwares. Go to eye candy. So I'm basically using a free trial of the plugin and you can go ahead and pay for the advanced and the license plugin because it's worth it alright so here we are inside the plugin as you can see you have a lot of options to choose and do stuff we are going to be doing uh, working with this chrome and we are going to choose this office space option but you can go ahead and try on other presets and see which one works best for you i'm going to stick with this office space and you can go ahead and edit it to your preference uh, i usually add this wheel on 80 or 70 on to leave it here and the heights don't be so go ahead and press ok And then voila guys and so what we are going to be doing next uh, is going to unlock the background layer and adding a gradient overlay effect to it so I uh, already have my gradients here so I'm going to be working with this one I'm going to pop up the color codes on the screen so you can go ahead and use it and change the angle to 45 and go ahead and scale it up to 150 change the blend mode to normal make sure it's a normal and okay so now what we are going to do is copy this gradient effect to the layer if uh, to the logo effect on the top so we're going to hold control out I 
once you press alt now you can go ahead and edit the effects change the blend mode to color dodge lower the opacity to around 40 and yeah go ahead and press ok so what it did is it added this uh, like a reflection to the chrome logo so yeah now the final part is to add uh, a noise so we are going to create a new layer here and go to edit and go to filter uh, fill choose 50 percent gray and press on ok now go to filter and go to noise go to add noise make sure it's in gaussian change the noise to whatever works for you and press ok so now change the noise layer to soft light and lower the opacity to around 40 something or 50 so whatever works for you yeah so and that's it guys this is pretty much a simple effect you can use to you know create a lot of stuff with it and you know it's more about the concept you, you took and yeah you know a co cool white tweak uh, effect to you know to advance it into a chrome look with the uh, eye candy plugin so yeah so next time guys don't forget to you know subscribe like and comment what you, what you want to see and on the channel and yeah peace out